There are various ways of dealing with dynamic content in Angular, but one feature you can use is the ng-content transclusion, especially if you're dealing with complex HTML or you want to pass some content from the outside of your component, or sometimes you don't want to pass data with property binding, especially if the data is an HTML code, then you can use the ng-content. Let's have a look at how ng-content works. Now bear in mind that this is only an example to show you how ng-content works. This scenario could be solved in different ways. I have a simple card here and I have a display image component in the body of the card. The display image component has static image header and static image description. And I want the image to come from my parent, but I don't want to use property binding. You might think just passing the image in between the tags would do the trick. Well, let's see what happens. As you can see, the image is not there. That is because everything between the app display image tags will be removed by Angular. Angular simply doesn't care what you put between those tags. But there's a way we can fix that, and that's where ng-content comes into play. Now, if we just add ng-content in our display image component, you can immediately see that we can now see the image. So depending on where you put the ng-content tags, that's where you will see the incoming data. But what if I want to add additional description here that also comes from my parent? Well, in a case like this, we can cherry pick what we want to show inside our image component with the help of ng-content. So to achieve this, I'm going to go back to our app component HTML and first I'm going to add a role attribute that I can use as a selector for our image in our ng-content. And I'm going to add a paragraph here with a role of additional. This will be our additional description. Now I will go back in our display image component and inside our ng-content, I'm going to select what content I want to put where. So first I'm going to put the image after the header and then with another ng content tag I'm going to add the additional description. The select attribute here can take any kind of selection same as selecting elements in CSS but in my case I'm using the selection by attribute role with a given name and in my case those are image and additional. When we run this we can clearly see that we are getting the proper output that we were expecting. We can see the image and we can see the additional description. That's all for this one guys, hope you learned something new, post your comments, questions and suggestions down below and I'll see you in the next one.